Okay, we are back with the game two. A lot of other just Malekith. Um, well, really, really cool offense from Lord Alrich here. Malekith's team looking familiar. Um, looking like something Obi would use if you put um, like a Tangrowth and a Scissor. Like you put a Scissor over the Malekith and you put a Tangrowth over the Lily. Something like that. But I have in my mind what Obi would use, but maybe I'm wrong. I feel like he posted. I think he posted like a paid spin on Smogon of some of his teams, and I feel like he had one of a team similar like that. So I assume this is a move Kirum, which is a cu pretty cool breaker. It doesn't really have any switches at all, like in general, like Ferrothorn takes like 80% from Zemuth Kirum. Like just in general, this well obviously doesn't have a ferrothorn, but like Fini can't switch in. Fini can only switch in on um, predicting the Z move and then he can pivot. Like he can pivot into guard jump on a fusion bolt in the next turn. That's one option now that Obish can play around this. Kyurum. I don't think he would he be Mega Gyarados? Mega Gyarados is not a good Pokemon, I don't like it. I think he's Z move Gyarados. Um Avitorn? Avitorn or like, if he's Mega Gyarados, he could be Z-Move Torn, but I hope he's Z-Move Gyarados. <laughs> and AV Torn. AV Torn is cool. It can take, like, Ice Move and Greninja and knock off the Life Orb, and then you can... If you have, if you have a balance issue team, you can switch around Greninja better. But looking at, like I said, Alvish has offense, so, like, maybe he's not AV Torn, because that's, like, rare on offense. Um, I guess it's bulky offense, because he has a Steeler and a Torn. Like... Steeler could be fat, but it could also be a tot of my Z move still. If he's Mega Gyarados, um, it could also be the Leech Seed offensive set of Steeler doesn't have that set Padlob likes to use. Um, nah, Pat no one besides Padlob uses Flash can offensive set of Steeler with Leech Seed on like Balance or Bulky Offense. So we see on the other side we see Mega Metagross, uh, Psychic Spam. So I probably then had better than Metagross because we have um, Tabu Lele with. Psychic Terrain to boost that up. Probably Scarf Kelio to bit Stone Edge for Volcarona. Sad Y, stuff like that. You just need a bit chip damage on Zyra to kill. And I think you want minus defense nature on Kelio to um to Oko Volk. Yeah, I'm pretty hyped for this. <laughs> no stall again. It's gonna be icy. Yeah, unless Malakas is Rocks, Metagross, Lanus is obviously his Rocker. I think the Metagross would be Zenhut, but Meteor Mesh. Um, it doesn't have to be Earthquake, because he has Keldeo and Landorus and potential Earthpaw and Kyurem to handle Heatran. Uh, T-Punch would be for Celestila. On the opo Celestila, what else does it hit? Skarmory. Yeah, Malika's team looking kind of weak to stall, honestly, unless... Maybe he stalled back a little, yeah. He's looking kind of weak to stall. So, he leads up with the cure and it has no switch-ins. I assume he's just gonna go for Fusion Bolt, or if he wants to predict the guard, he can go for Ice Beam, but I don't think I would do that. I don't think I would make that play, turn one. Hmm... Damn, why is the Smoktos chat so wild? I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, okay, did he make the Ice Beam play turn 1? He didn't, yeah, exactly. I wouldn't have made that play either. Hard Guard Jump is a wild play, and now we're gonna see the Landers come out. Potentially Rocks going up here, or double out. Okay, double out. I mean... Yeah, the, it has to be Rocks, and the third Alvich is only Rocker. So... How does Alvich beat Volcarona? I think he Scarf Rocks Jump. Or he could be, um, like, AV Torn doesn't beat Volk that well, because after Credence, I imagine Volk lives Hurricane. And Hurricane can also miss, so. He could be HP Rock Torn, I've used that once, but I don't even know how much that does to Volk after Credence. Nah, I think he has to be Rock Scarf Jump. Because, like, how else does he beat Volk, like I said? 
Like you can't rely on tornadoes to beat Volk if, if the opponent has rocks up. So Nature's Man is this a lot of which hits his Nature's Man is Malekith I think missed his Nature's Man his last game, but Malekith won the last game so that didn't matter. In the end of the game. He heavy slams twice, gets a huge hit on the Coco. I assume this will be Magnet or What else could this Coco be? I don't really know, I think Magnet. Mm. Yeah, but Volt Switch is fine. I guess he's going Landris potentially here, but he goes Q on predicting HP Ice. But we see like a potential HP Ice. We see a lot of which Volt Switch again, which is... Whew, I don't know if I would have made that play. I always was in, my, in the back of my mind, I would have also thought about the Lando coming out there if I was a lot outraged and I would probably try to double on that if I don't have HP eyes on the Coco but yeah I get Malakith mid ground play because Kieran takes the electric move and also comes in on HP eyes and would have gotten a huge hit off like no I wish got the play correct turn 1 going guard on the fusion ball but still Kieran is such a threat it's risky to keep making switch-ins like that for a lot of outrage because if Malakith predicts the switch-in and went for ice cream turn 1, that, that, that would have... Oh, just in general. Malakith is a good player, obviously. He can always get the prediction cor correct with Kyurem versus... Like if a lot of it just tries to pivot something in. But yeah. There's not much that can even walk you, like I said earlier. Like just in general, in time, then again... Switch and is super hard, like it's only it only gets kept in check by um being weak to rocks and by fast mons on offense that outspeed it. Like Met Metagross is one big is one big mon. If Metagross gets banned, that's one whew, that's one thing out of the way that's went with Kieran. Um yeah, I don't know when we will see a Metagross suspect test, or if you will see one with this Metagross is a really stupid mon this <laughs> meta like Minion Mesh has like a 20% chance to boost the attack and it feels like it's 80% it always gets the boost. So what can Lodovich even go out into here? Yeah, he can only go to Guard Jump. What else can he go to? Torn. Torn? What, what is this doing? Is it Iron Tail Torn? What is it? What? Is it Spe is it Z-Move Torn? Or oh, maybe Z-Move and it can kill. Is it Z-Move Hurricane? And it kills the Kyurem that would be icy. So I think Malakith would switch out Scouting for that into Celestila. But his Celestial is low. Oh, he just went for Hurricane, so it's not Z move. What? I don't understand this play then. And he subs to him and just blows this turn away. Yeah, I don't know why he went for that play. Um, I probably would have gone guard. Like, he will have his reasoning. I would have gone guard him there, probably. I'm going to go and rocks because the Q would have switched out into Landris. Getting up rocks would be amazing because the cure would be super low then. Um, but yeah, Hurricane is also nice for chip damage. But what was Tornadoes doing this match? Tornadoes would have been. It's nice for the Keldy, but he still has a Fini to check the Keldy. Tornadoes is nice because that speeds up. It would have outsped the Metagross. He brings in the Gyarados on the cure, so he's Mega Gyarados. That's the only reason why you would bring it out because regular Gyarados would just get blown away. That did so much because it's electric terrain. I, wow, electric terrain, damn. So, Lord Average almost sacked two Pokemon to get rid of this Kyurem. His Torn died and his Garrus is at 10%. Yeah, we're going to probably see a Thunder Punch from Metagross as he goes Hard Guard on predicting that. The thing is, um, oh, he goes for Ice Punch, oh my god. The thing is, it's oh, it's hammer. It's not scarf jump, so it's like a fat jump. But yeah, I don't know how he beats Volcarona then. Like, I guess fat jump can take a hit from Volcarona well, like not well, but like it can take a plus one for an overdrive decently well. But uh, it just drops to HP ice probably after a little bit of prior damage. All right, plus one. Damn. Yeah, what the flip? 
so many things remind me of Padlop here because Padlop is also like the only guy in 2017 using Helmet Chomp. Not the only guy, but like it's super rare. <laughs> Yeah, T-Bot should kill from his range, so I'd probably go for... Um, hmm, what do I go for if I'm not out Let me think this through. You might have to go for t because Melangus is a big threat and he doesn't really have that many ways to kill it. But, like, technically he like he's forced to t bolt but looking at that he's in the back, he has to make a double switch because he can't just let the... Landrus coming on t bolt like he either has to go for HPS or make a double um, if you look at it from pers perspective that he's in the back but yeah like if I was on the ladder I would just t bolt here but this is a tournament game he's in the back so hmm, I'd probably make the make the aggressive play here but this Melrose is really nice for Malekith yeah okay t bolt doesn't even kill yeah I didn't know that it doesn't kill I thought it would kill is he not magnet or does just does that just not kill is it just what Wow. How did that live? I said Coco was strong in Jiren. Oh, someone said it was clear the Garchum was bulky in turn 2. Because Lord Aldrich did a stupid play in switching Feeny back in because he feared Sub Zero Slammer from Cure. Yeah, but. <laughs> so he doesn't have a scarf for then, it's just. So I saw. From what I thought, like, I, th I thought this team was, like, super offensive, but it turns out to be bulk. to be, like, more bulky. Like, bulky guard jump. Is the Celestia set already revealed from Lord Aldrich? My Celestia set is not revealed yet. Wait, what the fuck? I just tried to spell in the, I, I just tried to type in the smoke in the chat from the game. Now the opposing Celestia set used having the opposing Celestia used having slim. Yeah, so Lord Adrich set is not revealed yet. Yeah, it looks like Malakis wins 2-0. Yeah, Ben Gay is like pretty much top favorite to win OST now. Uh, I mean, no, Malekith has been destroying it, kicking it, like, and the league too. You can't really say it, and you can never count out ABR, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> I can't decide who will win OST. I thought Malekith would win the series, but I was like, maybe I wanted at least to see game 3. And I thought that Aldrich is like he's not a bad player. I thought he could bring it to game three for sure. I mean, he's thinking about his options, but he doesn't really have options here. Like, if he goes Celestia, he takes a electric terrain T punch. Yeah, T punch makes a lot of. Actually, never mind. I was like, he has. Oh my god, Malak is deceived. Never mind, he's back. Wait, he's not. He keeps deceiving. Like, someone is gonna make a joke about this little Aldrich is trying to cut his internet. But uh, I'm not gonna make that joke. I just wanna mention that someone is gonna make that. This time I was at 40. Okay, okay, he made a play. He went to Fini and he switched out to Gyarados, so that, that was weird. So I guess he just wanted to get rid of Electric Terrain, so his Celestina takes the T-Punch better. Good thing going for Leech here to get health back. Oh, he goes for Tatum, so he's offensive. So after all, I was thought he was Z-Move Gyarados, potentially Z-Move Torn. Uh, the last thing I would have thought is he moved Celestia, but then I was like, there's no way he's that sad. But turns out he's probably that sad. It's Fire Blast. Um, if he's Malekith, it's Pedefthia, this doesn't even kill. 
I assume this is like 40, high 40s? It does 42, okay. Now I can hit the leech seed and you can just protect. Okay, yeah. Well, our rich brings in his Fini, but this doesn't do anything because the Celeste State is just getting healthy. Can protect again. The misty terrain appeared. Oof, the mist disappeared from the field. Yeah, congrats to congrats to Malekith. I don't think well, that witch can turn it around. Get some damage on the Lily with the madness, but Lily just clicks a psychic move or a psychic stab here and gets a kill. Nah, the Celestia is still health, but Celestia gets um gets hit pretty hard because it's offensive stealer. Okay, sex of the Fini. So he's gonna attempt to get a beast boost with his Thelda Stealer here, which is a plus one special attack for offensive Stealer. A fire blast, a slash, then that autotomize, and then it's either Leech Seed or Giga Drain. Oh, I kinda like the physical Thelda Stealer with Gronium Z that says fire. Oh, he has taunt on the ladies preventing the autotomize, the potential autotomize, but he doesn't even go for it. I think he predicted him to go hard stealer there, potentially. I mean, the combination of um, Thunder Punch from Melgros and then Scald or Hyper Pump should kill this. And also Celestia, no, Celestia doesn't have a head actually, yeah. And Landris dies to Z move. Yeah, Th Thunder Punch is 100% accuracy though. If he had a move that wasn't 100% accuracy, he allowed Outrage could still win. Well, he, d he didn't have a 100% accuracy move, so if he missed that... If he missed that, ooh. Dang, this game is getting a bit closer than I thought. Giga going to get some health back. Uh, Kelly can probably kill this with Hyro Pump, but Hyro Pump can miss. So I thought this game was over like ages ago, but ooh, can, coming closer to, coming a little close to the end here. Mm, I don't know if it made a difference if the taunt ended, because Kelly might still have speed plus to Stila with its scarf. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you would want to risk missing a pump here with kill you, because then you lose if you miss a pump. But what what is this other play? I think it doesn't kill. Skull burner pump is the only play. Good god, I hope Blood Rich can win this. I always love to see, like, I always like the game 3 that's. when players give their all. Like, just in general, I love watching these games and recording them for you guys. And wait, this kills. Fire Blast kills this, so he just has... Wait... Wait, why didn't he go to Kelio? <laughs> yeah, like... Kelio should still kill this with Hyrule Pump, even if... 
I, like, I really cannot imagine that an uh, offensive stealer doesn't take 50 from a pump. It should at least do mid-50s. The Kelly is not that weak. Like, let me... He hits the fire blast. Sila drops. Like, doesn't he have to go Kelly? Because Landris dies, too. Like, I mean, no. You know he's going kill you. I mean, it's not like this had leftovers, so going Sila first didn't really change anything. Yeah, so he has to hit a hyper pump, yeah. That's no point in calking. Pretty sure. Wait, he went for secrets, so he loses. Why didn't he go for hyper pump? Wait, what? I think he had to go for hyper pump. Like, th that's what I knew. That's like, that was a head calc I did. Like, you don't have to. Oh, let's see. So he had some tech there. And Zemov kills the line. We see game three. Wow. Okay. Um, I shouldn't have spoken too soon. This was a cool ending, though. But I don't know why I didn't go for hyper pump. He doesn't have it? Did someone say he doesn't have it? I mean, I knew it came down to Hyro Pump hitting, but he didn't even go for it. I mean, what else could he be? He could be, um... He could be a Secret Sword... Stone Edge? What else? He has to be some water move. Scald or Surf? And what would be the last slot? If it's not Hydro Pump, I really don't know. Some hidden power. HP electric, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. That was a cool ending, good god. Gonna pause and be right back with game 3. Wow, that was cool. That I love these OST series. Like, yesterday the one I didn't like that much, but the, the ABI was on that host Kaido, the ending, good god. It was like wild. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, peace out friends, we'll be right back with the next game.